Multiple Southeast Iowa counties held special elections today to, to, to determine city council spots and a variety of tax levies. All of these results will be unofficial until they are certified by the county auditor. Let's start with the race for Ottumwa City Council. Incumbent CM Basu took on challenger Dan Reed. It will be Dan Reed who wins this race with 55% of the vote. Ottumwa Public Measure C asked voters to approve how a 1% sales and services tax is being used. 69% of voters said yes to this ballot measure. The current use of the tax is 10% for property tax relief and 90% for street and sewer improvements. But since voters approve this measure, 30% of this tax will go to property relief and 70% will go to street and sewer improvements. Wapolo County also had a 1% sales and service tax on their ballot. The county put this up for vote to see if they can extend the tax. Nearly 75% of voters said yes to this initiative. The Van Buren County School District also proposed a tax levy this time around. If approved, the school's board of directors will be allowed to apply a tax between $2.70 and $3.75 per $1,000 of assessed valuation. Some voters in Lee, Davis, and Henry County also got the chance to vote on this since they might be in the Van Buren County School District. We combined the totals from Davis, Henry, and Van Buren counties, and 82% of the voters said no. We are still waiting for Lee County's final total. Henry County also had a 75 cent per $1,000 of assessed valuation tax on its ballot. This is intended to be used for emergency medical services in the county for the next 15 years. 2,273 voters said yes, which was 92% of the vote. Once again, these numbers are unofficial tonight. We will have updates if anything changes. For more election results, be sure to check out our website, ktvo.com.